Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I have a review for you guys of one of the most impressive Wii knives I have ever handled. And what we have here is none other than the Wii Knives Hyphen. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. I also want to send a shout out to my buddy D-Lo for this recommendation. You know, I did see a little about the Hyphen when it came out, and... I'm going to put it I'm I'm going to put this on the stock pictures. There was something about the stock pictures that just didn't really blow me away. I didn't see any other reviewer's opinion on it or anything. I saw a picture of it when it was released and I thought, "Eh, okay, it's another Wii, whatever." Um and then I was texting my buddy Dilo and he said, "Hey, have you heard about the hyphen?" And at first I was like, "You mean kite fin?" because I didn't even remember the actual name of this knife and he's like, "No, hyphen, look it up." And then he sent me a video of it and um it, when D'Lo recommends me to check out a knife, um, I tend to listen to him because the dude knows his knives and I think we have very similar tastes. And the video he sent me of this exact model, this is the same model he has, it looked, there was just something a lot more attractive to me in the video of seeing someone handle it uh, than just the regular stock picture. I just, I think the stock picture didn't really do this one any justice or really any good. Um, so I had to pick one up and I had to check it out and I'm really, really, really glad I did. Um, because this one here is a downright banger. Um, what we're looking at here from a spec standpoint is an overall length of 6.98 inches, a blade length coming in at 2.98 inches and a blade thickness of 130 thousandths. Blade material on this guy is CPM 20 CV. Always nice to see on a premium knife such as this. We have a reverse Tonto blade style, a very nice hollow grind, a handle length coming in at four inches with a handle thickness at 480 thousandths. Uh, handle material on this is titanium and a very, very nice uh, kind of a crackle bronze finish. Really love the finish on this titanium. Uh, we have, of course, that frame lock, locking mechanism, a user of a right hand only tip up carry, a weight coming in at 3.49 ounces and a price of $246.50. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have a lot of quarrels with this price. Um, I don't think it's a deal by any means, but I don't think it's too much. Um, I think it's right in the ballpark of where it probably should be. Could it be $10 less? Maybe they could have also probably made it $10 more and they'd still be selling them. So um, I'm okay with the $246.50. No real issue there. Now going into size comparisons, um, this is a small knife. There's really not a real small knife, um, but it's not big. We're going to compare it here with uh, this guy here. This is the, the um, wow, the giant mouse. Ace Biblio. I can't believe that name slipped my mind because it's kind of an iconic knife at this point. And then also we have the Wii Knives Black Void Opus. If you know Wii and you're watching this review because you like Wii Knives, I'm sure you've heard of this one. And if you haven't, you should look it up because it's one of my favorite Wii Knives of all time, even though it doesn't want to really stand up and it's kind of a pain to, uh, to line up with this knife. But as you can see, in terms of length, we're right there. Um, let's put that Biblio up and just for the purpose of it, we'll, uh, we'll put these, uh, side by side right here. As you can see, uh, very, very similar overall in length to the Black Void Opus, which is an amazing design. Um, yeah, really two knives that I think kind of complement each other. I, I like this pairing here. It's very nice. Um, and one other knife that really reminds me of this knife and I really think it's partly from an ergonomic standpoint and it's partly just from a blade shape. Um, but the TRM Shadow, and people might think I'm crazy for that, but just hear me out here. Um, obviously, this is a bigger knife. To be completely honest, I would like to see this hyphen in the size of the Shadow. That would be perfect for me. I, I, I would like to see this a little bigger. But as it is right now, the Ergos, the, the Reverse Tonto, I, I have some similarities. I just I, I can't help but not somewhat think of the Shadow. Just a little when I think of this hyphen. Maybe it's just me. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I'm out of line or, uh, or, or onto something there. Uh, but now getting into this knife and uh, starting with this blade here. There's really a lot that could be said for this blade because it is, <laughs> from an aesthetic standpoint, it is a stunner of a reverse Tonto. I love everything about the design of this blade from a visual standpoint. It just looks so damn good. You have an excellent, excellent hollow grind here as you can. There you go. You can kind of see it pretty good there. 
uh, with an edge coming down to 18 thousandths and a super slicey tip. You have that nice harpoon there that gives it a little bit of attitude and just looks great. And then, of course, the swedge will help reduce a little drag when you're powering through some cuts. Um, just an excellent, excellent blade. Again, the only thing I'd really want to see on it is it be a little bigger. Um, I just, I love this design. And, uh, I, you know, I've never been, I've never disliked Gapco designs, but I've never been like you know, one of their biggest fans. I feel like they have a, a, a very diehard following and I've, yeah, I've just never really had one that spoke to me until this one. And, and boy, oh boy, it's not just speaking to me, it's screaming at me. Um, now going into the, uh, well, one more thing that's worth touching on this blade is the thumb studs. Um, I just really like the, uh, the bronze accent, the bronze pop you get. Um, it's a nice, uh, nice bright pop that really works well with the stone wash finish, stone wash black finish. Uh, on this blade that's a good pairing and then moving into this handle and the antique bronze finish this crackling bronze finish on the handle you've seen this on some other wee knives before and you actually if you look in there's that no it, it almost looks like there's a very very like microscopic amount of texturing I don't think there is you don't you don't really feel it it feels smooth um but i love the way this bronze pops i tell you what if you're walking outside in the day the sun hits this oh it's 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 a uh, it's a beautiful thing beautiful thing so very very nice fit and finish on this guy and from an ergonomic standpoint that's where this knife for me um is just okay it's nothing great it's nothing special as a matter of fact so just the handle itself and we have to break this up into two parts here um, because the blade not only is super slicey and looks great, it also works with the aesthetics or the ergonomics, excuse me, just as much as the handle itself. Because if I'm holding it just like this, it, it, it's it's good. It's it's not bad. It's okay. It's nothing special. Um, but it just kind of is what it is. But I would never hold it like this. And to be honest, I, while I do think this feels better, this right here, the way this blade ties into the handle. Um, it not only elevates the ergos for me on this knife, it like doubles it. Like the, you being able to get my hand so far up on this blade and, and use the back of the harpoon here and use this choil. Um, this takes the ergos from like a six, six and a half for me up to like a eight and a half or a nine. Like they're really good ergos when you use this blade. Um, and I am a big, huge, massive fan of the way the ergos on the blade combine and tie into the ergos on the handle. Really, really, really love that. Um, moving on to the back here, looking at the clip, it's a good clip. I've got no issues with it. I can be really harsh on Wii sometimes with clips. I, I like this clip. Um, it works fine. It looks great. Um, it's good to go. Now, one other little detail that I think is really worth mentioning um, that isn't exactly my favorite thing that I would actually m prefer a little change on this, but looking at the back standoff here, as you can see, there's only one standoff. So, and it's kind of on the back here. So, you know, this whole area here is all supported by this one little standoff. Um, I don't love that. I would rather have there been a, a, a backspacer back there. And I understand that would be take a lot more precision and maybe even a little refinement in the design. I get that. Um, but what I really do like is just how wide this base is back here. Um, that, that little bit of extra width on the base of this standoff, as you can see, it spreads out more than some other standoffs. Um, it looks really good, but most importantly, it provides that, that extra bit of strength. And when you're talking about something like this, a little bit of extra width goes a long way in supporting the bottom portion of this handle. So, um, I do like that little bit of detail. Um, I like the beefy screws they're using. Um, so overall, the construction, while I do think the idea of a backspacer would work better, and I know that would present, present some challenges, um, I like the compromise they came back here with, with the, uh, the wider standoff and then in the bulkier screws. Um, it, it's a nice setup for this, and I think it's plenty durable enough. I don't have any concerns, any questions about, oh, is it gonna, you know, fall apart? No, that's not happening. Uh, this is a really nice knife, and this is not a knife that was sent to me for loan. Uh, this is a knife I purchased for my personal collection because I really do love it that much. So this is mine, and it's uh, you're going to see it around more because, uh, in terms of uh, in terms of just overall favorite blades under three inches, this is really up there for me. I've really, really come to enjoy it. Um, a lot of it has to do with this action. Uh, thumb studs are great, whether you're middle finger flicking 
or whether you are just regular thumb flicking. Keep in mind, I haven't even disassembled this and I haven't even put any KPL in it. So um, this can definitely stand to get a little better. Um, I've, I've actually had this knife for like a week and I've carried it a couple times, but I just haven't found the time to disassemble it and uh, give it the little extra TLC that I, I give all the knives that go into my personal collection. Uh, but this is, uh, from an action standpoint, it's great. I mean, it's it's your typical Wii. There's, I don't have any issues with it. There's no complaints. Um, Wii, for the most part, has always had a phenomenal action on their knives. Um, so yeah, we're good to go there. If you've handled Wii's, you know what you're getting into and it's, and it's a really good thing. So at the end of the day, what we have here is uh, one fantastic knife. I, I would have to classify this as one of my favorite Wii knives of all time. Um, and I can't remember, I don't know if this came out at the very beginning of this year, 2023, or if it was a very late addition to 2022, but regardless, this is the first time I've handled it and it was in January of 2023. So this is in the running for knife of the year. And, uh, it is definitely very, very high on that list. There's actually very few knives on that list. So this is technically like the first or second one. Um, but yeah, this is legit knife of the year contender and an excellent, excellent three inch or sub three inch blade. If you like those blades coming in just a hair under three inches and you want a nice attractive design that's fidgety, premium, uh, this is one I would highly recommend. Like I said, it's not going anywhere for me. It's going in my tool chest and being in the personal collection for, uh, I think, quite a while. Uh, a very, very, very excellent offering from Wii Knives. The only thing I'd like to see different is a bigger version. Let me see a bigger version of this Wii. Come on, bring out the high fin XL or the higher fin. Make it the higher fin and make it a little bigger. I don't know, but I would love to see a bigger version of this, like 3.3, 3, 3 point, even 3.5 inches. A uh, 3.5 inch blade would be fantastic on this. Um, outside of that, you're looking at just about perfection for this design. I absolutely love it. Uh, the Wii Knives High Fin. Guys, let me know what you think of this. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your week. And until the next one, I'm out.